Native Instruments updates contact to version 6.7.0 Apple Silicon, Mac OS Monterey, and Windows 11 support. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. Native Instruments has announced the release of version 6.7.0 of Contact. You can now run Contact natively on Silicon in standalone mode and is a plugin in all DAWs that currently support ARM. Contact is now also compatible with Mac OS 12, Monterey, and Windows 11. While working on the compatibility, we took the opportunity to make significant changes in the Contact codebase. This resulted in fixing a lot of user-facing bugs, but also in improving a lot of things under the hood. Additionally, this release expands the sonic capabilities of the platform with the addition of two new bass amplifiers from Guitar Rig, Bass Pro and Bass Invader, that are modeled using award-winning techniques. Bass Pro delivers that gritty, growling sound and Bass Invader gives everything you need to make low-end sounds and get that classic 90s British indie flavor. Changes Contact is now native ARM compatible. Contact is now macOS Monterey compatible. Contact is now Windows 11 compatible. Minimum supported macOS version is now 10.14. Minimum supported Windows version is now Windows 10. Show replace multi-dialogue setting is now replaced by a new preference option. There are now two new amplifiers, Bass Invader and Bass Pro. Fixed, Contact VST3 could crash loading instruments with very long host automation names. Fixed, memory was not released correctly in VST3 under certain conditions. Fixed, replica in ping pong mode would not initialize recalled parameters correctly since contact 6.6.1. Fixed, replica in bus effect slots would not follow tempo changes. Fixed, plate reverb would incorrectly recall in stereo when saved in mono. Fixed, lo-fi noise parameter would lose real-time control after modulating SR or bits params. Fixed, 3x2 filter gain knob would not allow text input. Fixed, modulation in the faces effect was behaving incorrectly. Fixed, automation could not be dragged to UI elements beyond 512th instance. Fixed, step modulator can now have all of its 32 steps modulated. Fixed, all convolution factory presets have been updated to zero latency mode. Fixed, number of zones in expert tab would get cut off when exceeding 99.99. Fixed, quick load view would obscure the virtual keyboard. Fixed, long sample paths would get cut off when hovering the sample name in the mapping and wave editors. Fixed, collection of minor cosmetic GUI fixes. Fixed, collection of various info pane fixes. Fixed, factory scripts using note duration set to bar now work properly in contact standalone. Fixed, crash when declaring KSP UI underscore file underscore selector under certain conditions. Fixed, KSP saving a string array would add an extra white space. Fixed, KSP loading a Windows formatted CR slash LF NKA file would result in superfluous empty lines. Fixed, search for alternative file types has been set to on by default in the search dialog. Event inputs and outputs have been renamed to MIDI inputs and outputs in VST3 for consistency. KSP snapshot mode 2 and 3 can now be set, allowing to only store persistent KSP variables. Fixed, factory KSP script multi-CH transpose did not retain persistent values. New factory KSP scripts alternate pan modulation, MIDI latch 6x, and rotate chords. Known issue. Creator tools does not connect when contact is running natively on ARM. Creator tools stays on version 1.4.0, but see known issue above. Please like this video if you found it helpful. And if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.